the Kabbalistic writings of Isaac the Blind fell into the hands of a group of nine French noblemen. These noblemen became known as the Knights Templar. The word cabal, meaning a group who conspire together, comes from the word cabala. One such cabal who were to later inspire a whole armada of black magic cults and Freemasonry were the so-called Knights Templar. They laughingly called themselves the poor Knights of Christ, but these men were far from poor. They deliberately styled themselves as monks so that they could go about their Luciferian Kabbalistic studies and conduct business without being taxed nor arouse suspicion from the Vatican. The Kabbalistic higher secrets of ritual sodomy, the evil eye, chanting incantations, necromancy, blood sacrifice and invoking the fallen angels in service to Lucifer fascinated the French Knights Templar. They realized that the Kabbalah originated in Palestine and once they had realized that the Kabbalah was the key to untold spiritual magical power, they cunningly planned a bloody crusade to Palestine in order to search for more Kabbalistic and magical artifacts. They eventually discovered and looted the Temple of Solomon. Solomon was a biblical magician king who is accredited with inspiring large parts of the corpus of works we now know as the Kabbalah. The Knights Templar arrived in Palestine with one main goal, to stop the Muslims from gaining any knowledge about the Kabbalah. Historical Islamic oral accounts from the 12th century testify to a sickening crusade of plunder, torture, murder and sexual depravity. The Knights Templar, once they had discovered the magical teachings of the Kabbalah, were dedicated utterly to destroying its origins so that they might hold its secrets exclusively. Archaeologists have found ample evidence of tunnels constructed by the Templars in Jerusalem. They are widely believed to have found and brought back to Europe the fabled Holy Grail. The so-called Holy Grail is actually a set of higher magical teachings. It is not an object, but a piece of information. Utterly Kabbalistic in its origin, the Holy Grail is the highest Kabbalistic secret. That is, that physical matter can be transformed molecule by molecule by the use of incantations of ancient Hebrew letters and numbers, and that the nature of reality is really an illusion. I said publicly um, in 1991 that the earth was a living entity that we could communicate with and could communicate with us. 
uh, people uh, just dub me crazy. And now we're seeing scientists um, who have studied this coming to the same conclusion. Yes. Um, the bottom line is this. Everything is conscious. Uh, what we call creation is a, 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 like an ocean of infinite energy, um, which is manifesting itself in different forms. Um, it's like uh, we may perceive ourselves as droplets, if you like, individuals. But if you put a droplet in the ocean, where does the droplet end and the ocean start? The ocean is the droplet, the droplet is the ocean, and it's the same with us. You may look as you do, I may look as I do, that wall may look as, as it does, but they're all expressions of the same energy field uh, manifesting in different ways. So, of course, the, the planet itself is a living, thinking, emotional entity. Um, and uh, we are interacting with that energy field. And one of the things the uh, Illuminati uh, have set out to do and are trying um, ever more to do in the period we're experiencing now is to bring the vibrational state of the Earth's uh, field, the Earth's consciousness, to um, as low a point as they can. Because we, as human beings, are living in that energy field. And it's very simple. If you affect the sea, you affect that which lives in the sea. And uh, so the more that they can lower the uh, vibrational state of the planet, the more it becomes, if you like, treacle-like density. Mm -hmm. The more it, we, we living in that energy field are pulled into that state. Um, and uh, when you have the uh, wars and the environmental destruction and all these uh, uh, things that, that cause tremendous negative emotional energy, then um, you are um, lowering the vibrational state of the planet. You're lowering the vibrational state of the people. And you're basically holding them in a vibrational prison, which makes it much more difficult, not impossible, but much more difficult for them to hold connection out into the infinite beyond, where they can be in this world, but not of it in terms of their perspective of reality. If you disconnect people um, and hold them in this density, hold them in this illusory reality, they are in this world and they are also of it. And therefore, the only um, information that they uh, have to uh, get a fix on, on how they see life themselves and reality in general is through the eyes and the ears. And who controls that? The Illuminati control that through what we laughingly call the education system, the, the mainstream media across the planet. And <clears throat> the, um, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to disconnect us from multidimensional infinity so that we don't see the world from that perspective and therefore see through the illusion and see through the nonsense and see through the lies. And then once they've disconnected people, they then program this lower level of our consciousness with a reality that suits them. Um, and this is why uh, people who um, have had a, an, a different perspective on, on life, a different perspective on reality, who have held that connection to some extent out into the, into the infinite and have expressed that uh, view, expressed that vision of reality and possibility here, they're the ones that are dubbed crazy, lunatics and dangerous. Why? Not because they are, but because from the point of consciousness that they are perceiving this world, to people who are here, the vast majority, that is just crazy. I mean, if you said to people, um, is, that, is, that, uh, is that table solid? They say, of course it is, of course it is. Well, it isn't. It can't be. It's made of atoms, right? And, the, and atoms are not solid. Tell me how it does that. Our minds do that by turning vibrational fields into uh, apparently physical objects. The denser the vibration, the slower the vibration, the, the more dense that we um, uh, decode that into what appears to be a physical object. Um, and so uh, someone who's 
out there and can uh, perceive that sees the world in a completely different way. And because it's, it's different to the norm and the, 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 the mass norm, which is programmed into people from cradle to grave, they're just uh, isolated and, um, and, and called crazy when in fact, um, you know, they're the, they're the people we need to, uh, we yeah. need to listen to. Yeah. Um, I remember